where we are right now, this whole pandemic, and you know we're a couple months in, uh, what should people do? And then how, how should people think about their whole finance in general? And what recommendation would you give to the person that doesn't have all their finance in place and that's just all over the place? And how, how can they kind of fix that? In my opinion, money is a philosophy and a science. And that's why where you come in and you kind of explain the philosophy and the science behind it. So please jump right in. Okay, so I told you before, when you called yeah. me, this was a yeah. great question. Now, uh, you know, the uncertainty, the yeah. good thing about it, it develops thinking. Right? Yeah. Now, let me let me tackle this question, but I'll go a step back. Of you course. Know, there are two things, and people who know me, they're sick mm -hmm. and tired of me saying it. There are two things to developing something successful or developing, uh, developing a strong financial plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, first thing, that you can jump to number two without is a strategy. So there is a difference between strategy and a tactic. Okay. If I go tell you, Mo, in this time, go invest in X, Y, Z. Go buy a property. Mo, go buy Apple stock. I will be giving you a tactic without a strategy. I'll be fooling you. And anyone who tells you, go buy this, specifically, is yeah. cool. Sorry for uh -huh. that. Of course, man. No, you, you can say whatever you want. You're good. Thank you. So, you know, now, of course, some people will say, oh, well, I'm going to give you right now a tactic and it's a valuation of XY stock and you should buy it for this reason. Well, this is great. But keep in mind when you're looking at it, this is a tactic. You're looking at a tactic. Now, a strategy mm -hmm. is, well, in this time, how do I set goals? Mm -hmm. Who am I? Where am I currently standing? What am I looking to do? Why am I going to do what I'm going to do? Not just investing, but in terms of credit and all of this. And defining where, you know, past, current, and future stages you want to be at that mm -hmm. will lead you to tactics. Mm -hmm. So you can't say, like I said, I'm going to buy X stock. But what you can say, I'm looking to grow, uh, to grow my wealth by 5% every year mm -hmm. um, to reach X, Y, Z in savings, to reach a specific amount in savings. Once you say this, then you can look at your tactic and say, well, tactic one, two, three are going to help me reach 5%, right? Mm -hmm. So this way you're disciplined. So I think uh, the biggest advice I will give, especially that people have a lot of time on their hands, and it's a time where you can kind of regroup and organize your papers, is mm -hmm. building a strategy. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to go a little bit further on this one. Please That's do. Good. Yeah. Okay. So building a strategy requires a few things. And I talked about um, actually some of these things in one of the articles I've uh, written on uh, LinkedIn. I, I know we talked about this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so one of the things I said when we're building strategy is let's see where the past is and where mm -hmm. do we currently exactly stand. So how, how exactly do I do this in terms of a strategy? Well, first, I have to define my net worth. Mm -hmm. Very simple. It is assets minus liabilities, Lab all you have. Yeah. Very simple. Now, you know, I know a lot of people are in school. Do you do it for corporate and all of this for you? It's so simple. It's mm -hmm. a snapshot. It's a picture of where you stand. It's not cash flow. Just you're taking a quick picture with your accounts, your bank accounts. Yeah. You see you own a car. Uh, if you have finance on it, all of these things, you take it and bada boom, you have a formula. So you know a number numerically your net worth is one thousand dollars numerically your net worth is hundred thousand numerically one million so on that is one now great we developed this second piece is cash flow and that's a big topic people are panicking about right now is well how am i going to survive but before you calculate you know go on tangents of calculating or doing the tactics you need to know exactly what's coming in and out. So big advice, and it's a hard advice because I've seen it with a lot of my clients when I do it. Uh, there is the panic that happens and there is some embarrassment and all of this. Mm -hmm. But do it. Bring your three-month bank statements. Mm -hmm. Past three months. Look at the categories you spend in. Divide mm -hmm. it up. See what's going in a monthly. So how much you're earning. And for everyone... For students, for seniors, for uh, young people, old people, working full-time, part-time, there is always an income, mm -hmm. whether it's allowance or whatever. There is always money coming in. So look at your account. See the amount of money coming in monthly. 
-hmm. and the and divide it up in categories. So say I spend this for rent, I spend this for food, I spend this for that, whatever. Yeah. You will net a specific amount that is cash flow. So ideally, you would be cash flow positive. If you're cash flow negative, then adjust your expenses or increase your income to make mm -hmm. sure that you're cash flow positive at yeah. the end of the day. Now, when you're cash flow positive, that means now you know two things about yourself. You know you're worth this much mm -hmm. and you know per month you're going to be positive for example by two hundred dollars yeah these are the first two things once you get there you start identifying your timelines you start identifying your risk tolerance based on the first two factors um you start identifying your goals and then we can go into stage two does that make sense no, of course, man. No, that's such a good point because you're pretty much starting from the basics. And what's so absurd to me, and it catches me every single time when people talk about finance, but they have no clue how much they have and how much they spend. Like they don't keep track of anything, which is which is crazy. That's me insane. And, yeah, ex exactly. But I get it. It's 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 a form of education, and and that's such a key part, right? And that's why education is such a like key part to it it's not it's not rocket science but you're just spending a little bit of time and then learning about it but that's such a great topic that you just went from strategy to tactics